Welcome back to my channel and thank you guys so much for joining me for today's fall decorate with me part two today we are decorating my coffee bar and my dining room table this is probably my favorite video to film every single season but especially cozy season because I feel like the coffee bar just means so much more when it is the season and I thought today would be the perfect video to share with you guys a coffee recipe I usually always do that when I decorate create my coffee bar but it's been a while since I shared a recipe so I will also be showing you guys how I make this super yummy fall Dalgona Dalgona drink I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly but it is so yummy and I promise you guys are gonna want to stick around till the end to learn how to make it but without further ado let's go ahead and get started with the decorating as always if you guys enjoy this video please give me a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe if you guys missed a part one which was decorating the living room I will go ahead and have it linked down below in the description box as well as up in the corner I hope you guys enjoy it just as much as I enjoy decorating and giving you guys these fall ideas but as always let's go ahead and get into the video and yeah Okay friends, I'm starting off by placing this beautiful landscape art that I got from the Studio McGee line at Target last year. I absolutely loved it back then and I love it just as much this year. It just really incorporates all of the colors that I love during this fall season. And right beside it on either side, I added these candle holders from the hearth and hand line at target this year i think these are beautiful i originally purchased them to place on my dining room table but after playing around a little bit i just loved the way they looked on my coffee bar shelf as you guys are seeing and then of course i go in with some of the bigger items before going in with some of the more smaller detailed items I don't usually decorate symmetrically so I don't have the same exact items on both sides of a display but I do try to add some symmetry by incorporating the same colors and textures on both sides as you guys will be able to see so I'm just adding uh, some of the smaller details such as greenery pumpkins and just different textures and colors so overall it gives a fuller look
Okay, friends, another quick tip. I'm sure you guys already know, but if something is not making you happy, sometimes all it takes is moving the items around. That is what I did here with these amber vases. Something just didn't seem right, and switching them around was the difference that I needed and what made me love the way it looked. And then also, I play around with items to balance out heights. So adding this pumpkin here to balance out the two white bowls on the other side and so on so definitely just play around with the items you have the heights and make sure you balance out the colors and textures Last detail to finish off the top of the shelf is of course adding some candles to the candlestick holders. I got these beeswax candles from Amazon so I will have them linked down below but I love the touch of yellow that they add especially over this white wall. It just really does take up some space and I like how it balanced out both sides of the shelf. I wake up early with the sun. Just in case you are new to my channel and are wondering where this peg shelf is from, my husband actually built this for me as he has built many things throughout our home. He is actually a contractor so all of the remodeling and projects around our house have been done by him. So I absolutely love this shelf but I know I tend to get that question when anyone doesn't know where it's from. But anyways, now moving on to decorating the pegs of it. I'm using my usual items such as kitchen towels and a few other decorative pieces but my favorite addition this year definitely has to be the mugs I got these from Target's dollar spot this year I did have two from last year from the threshold line but they are definitely much more of a muted orange and I love that these are such a rich dark rusty color which really pulled me in and then lastly i didn't have a wreath and i like adding some greenery to these pegs so i decided to just grab these stems and i wrapped some twine around it and i actually hung these up so it kind of looks like i'm drying florals here which i thought was a neat touch and i really like how it came out now moving to the table, I'm just adding these little containers. I got these from Michaels and they don't currently have anything inside of them, but they still look very cute and add a pop of color here. And then on top of my lockers, I'm adding these containers with coffee grounds. These lockers have all my coffee making supplies and my mugs, so they are accessible and easy to reach for. And then we are moving on to the dining room table. Memories all I got like an afterthought. 
Okay, friends, so by now you guys probably already know that my go-to dining room table decor usually just is setting it up like if it was ready for a fancy dinner. I just love this look so much. So I started with this footed tray I got from Target and I added the arrangement that is from the Hearth and Handline this year. I love the rusty color of this arrangement. It's so beautiful. And then it paired with the other items I'm adding such as these mustard yellow candles just really bring in those fall colors that I used over in my coffee bar area and Balances that out. So I absolutely love it. Of course, I had to bring in some amber Vase glass and I thought this pumpkin was perfect for that. It does light up. It's from Joann's But that is it for my coffee bar and dining room Make sure to stay tuned for the coffee recipe in just a bit there I like it best In this catacomb Where it feels like home You showed how you were mine We left and took our time Okay friends, I will leave exact measurements down below in the description box, but I am starting by adding my coffee grounds, my sugar, and my pumpkin spice to this little jar and adding some boiling hot water. And then I'm going to froth this for a very, very long time. I definitely recommend just adding it to like your mixing bowl. It froths much more faster, but you want a really thick consistency. And then in a glass of milk of your choice, add some pumpkin puree and make sure this is very well mixed and incorporated add that to a glass of ice and then top it with that whipped coffee that we just made and that is it this is so yummy and definitely has all of those fall flavors that we love and I definitely recommend that you guys try it out Won't you left behind, and I'll sing for you Alrighty friends, well that is everything that I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it brought you guys plenty of fall decorating inspiration. I hope you guys give the recipe a try. I promise you guys, you are gonna wanna try it. it. Seems like a lot of sugar, but honestly, what fall drink doesn't have sugar? And you can actually replace the normal sugar with like zero calorie sugar if you're you know, really worried about it. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out part one of my fall decorating series and make sure to stay tuned for part three, which will be decorating my kitchen. And I love filming that video because of course there will be some baking in there and I just love decorating. So I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next one.